You are live. Go ahead. Many of these concerns have arisen due to the fact that drones could compromise the privacy and safety of the public. As Joseph Singer, property law expert, says regulations are needed to protect us from the harm and fraudulent actions of others, which are the drone users. And because this is because um, drones are an advanced technology, so the, the laws that are placed aren't like keeping up with the keeping up with their privacy concerns and protecting the people. So drones, um, they have a lot. So person, property, airspace expands 30, 30, yeah, 83 feet above them, and but drones could invade pe people's property. Despite this law, because drones have advanced with cameras and can fly up to about 300 feet. And also, adding to that, specific laws per state that protect people, there's different laws between state and state. Like, there's not like a general law for the nation. And police use of drones. Drones could be used, used in law enforcement. But people also have the concern that police may abuse their power and use it for surveillance. So in this chart, the first, the first part, um, the first part is a survey where, sorry, where um, people were asked if the government should regulate drug use, and 66% said yes because of these privacy and safety concerns. This image here represents what may possibly occur if a drone that was on the list of close encounters with airplanes would have hit one of these airplanes. This picture on the right shows what will have, where the, all the blades will go, and all of these blades that have flung off can go towards the cabin to the passengers within the plane or down towards the ground towards the residents of the houses below. So, drones also pose other threats to people's safety by, by being used by criminal organizations. And these organizations can use drones to smuggle drugs and other items across borders and also into prisons. And then there is also a threat of terrorism as organizations like ISIS have recently been using surveillance drones and drones used for military attacks. And here on the right, there's a picture of a drone that was found after crashing in a, around a border near Mexico. In Mexico. And 
and to the left is a drone that was used by ISIS, and this shows this drone was used, put together using duct tape and plastic, which shows that these drones can be made easily, but they're also readily accessible to organizing things like this. So ways to address the concerns of safety include educating users so they more accurately know these laws and are able to follow them better, as well as establishing a, a constant state of a constant rule throughout the nation to make it easier for drone users to figure out what the laws they should be following as well as increased drone enforcement, so things that would, like invasion of privacy or like criminal use can be punished, and then also preventative measures against drone attacks would be like different systems of technologies or programming the drone to stay within certain areas. So while drone use, well drone use can have some negative impacts, drones can also be used for commercial purposes, and the current regulations are um, kind of like smothered in this, so companies are <coughs> able to use drones to their full potential. Um, the strict regulations on drones severely limit small businesses' abilities to be innovative and take risks. Um, the FAA grants um, exemptions to their laws occasionally, and most of these have been given to small businesses who choose to or would like to use drones like further their practice, um, and other companies do not have such, or other countries do not have such strict regulations on drone use. So larger companies like Amazon and um, like entertainment companies such as Sony are using drones in other countries and are developing their technologies there rather than in the United States, which will hurt our economy. Well, the largest industry, the second largest industry in which drone use is occurring is within agriculture. Agriculture is one of the largest industries within our country, and if we're able to make this, if we're able to have this industry spend less money in their surveillance and using these drones to use photography to then evaluate their crops and their land to see what they need to do to make better, it'll be able to increase wages for those workers and help boost the economy even farther. These drones are a supplement for manned flight. In the bottom left, you can see one drone costs a thousand dollars and a few dollars to then recharge it each time you have a use, but every use of a manned aircraft is one another $1,000 out of the palm what you've already spent. There are also many harms in which these current regulations put on the research. Currently, the University of Colorado Boulder is studying supercell storms and what, they, what their possibility is of creating a tornado and how to help people find a safe location. There's also search and rescue being used in drones because drones create less noise and make it than a helicopter, making it easier to hear calls for help during a search and rescue mission. Yet, they're currently not allowed in these, some of these sites. Ways to address these concerns include um, fewer regulations specifically on commercial use because they, Im they neg neg negatively impact businesses. And also, we should create um, or amend regulations that don't limit these benefits, however, uphold to safety because that's a huge concern with the public. But we don't want to compromise the benefits that they could bring with the companies. And also, more freedom for drone use in research and development. So, one apprehension people have in general over increased technology use is that implementing them in business situations will eventually machines will replace human work. Um, and this can be seen in some of Amazon's like workerless stores, and as the drugs are used for delivery, it could for like postal jobs. Um, in conclusion, we have found that we have seen that adding more regulations will only smother some industries, while loosening them could hurt others. Our conclusion is not to add more or to take them away, but to amend them to make sure that it encompasses as many fields as possible. Some solutions would be to, as Camille said earlier, put programming into the drones to restrict their capabilities to fit these FAA laws. Others would be to do it industry by industry, such as agriculture having certain restrictions while other businesses having different ones. Good job. Nine minutes, 45 seconds. So, who's reading questions? Everybody got the question list? Awesome. Would you please hit them? Claire, 
In what ways did you improve your ability to work with the group as a result of this project? Um, coming into the project, I like during my research, I had a very strong stance that drone the regulations on drones should be decreased like, or gotten rid of completely. However, like through working as a group, um, I had to like work with my group to compromise and come up with a better solution that fit all of our lenses. Camille, reflecting on your colleagues' work, which one had the greatest impact on your overall understanding of the problem your group identified? Well, I would say Claire and Alex, because their research uh, was the opposite of mine, which said, well, my research was that there should be more laws, like, because safety is such a great concern that they shouldn't, like, it comes before other things. But then I, we found that there's also with research and industries that if we keep focusing on the safety, then there's no way that like the technology would increase to the point where we'd actually be able to more proficiently stop the safety hazards. Nagozi, give one specific way that your thinking was changed as a result of learning about one of your group members' findings. Um, well, throughout my research, I had both sides, but reflecting off of it, especially Claire's, um, and how it could have a n negative impact on businesses. I, um, look, like looking through my research, I like saw that maybe we should have less regulation, but also, be, um, as you can see with our complete our solution, that we should amend the regulations because both sides are important. Alec, what was your, the strongest? Counter argument to the solution or conclusion your team identified and why? I would say probably the strongest counter argument to any change in the regulations and not adding more to them would probably be within the social aspect because of how much fear people have of these drones and what they could possibly what they could possibly do to the person themselves. Thank you. Nice to